All right, we're going to uh, address a little funk uh, issue we've been having with our main pump here. Uh, so I see that you're standing in our brew house. Uh, if you could look to the right, you're going to look at the control panel for the pump there. Perfect. Yep. Okay, I see that it's not on right now. If you could uh, turn the rocker switch, if it's on the right-hand side of that uh, support there, and you're just going to kind of look down a little bit, and you'll see a black switch on the post. You can just flip that on for me. You mean this thing down here? Perfect. Yep, that's exactly the you sure? one. You sure? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, done. All righty. Cool. So we'll let the uh, we'll let the control uh, warm up. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through uh, a couple parameters that we're going to set. So what I'm going to need you to do is press the program button. Uh, can you show me which one that is? I'm not quite clear on that. Sure. Uh, just hold still. We're going to get a picture and circulate. Uh, circle the uh, correct button. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Right Lots there. Of sound effects. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Would you like me to press it now? Yeah, just press it once. Got it. Excellent. One of the things that's, um, as Sanjay said, we've got a complex uh, network set up in here, and it's actually performing really, really well. But if you think about a lot of times when you're in remote manufacturing locations or remote field locations, we don't always have the luxury of the kind of, of bandwidth and connectivity we, we are experiencing today. We've simulated that rugged environment situation. So right now we're running a, a live stream. Uh, Christian, what do we got for, for bit rate on this roughly? 97 kilobits. Okay, so we're running 97 kilobits per second right now. Video's not HD, right? It's not, not perfect. Um, but Chris, if you can go over to one of the, the gauges on one of those copper kettles, we can see that that's a gauge, uh, but we can't read it. down now, oh yes, there we go. Because we don't have enough bandwidth. But we had customers, again, back to this idea of evolving the platform, we said, we want the ability to be able to read detail, even if we don't have the bandwidth to produce high-res video. So we capture, we still have our picture-in-picture -picture video streaming here, but we always capture a high-res image so you can collaborate, you can resolve, you can identify the pinholes in a weld, or what's marked on an IC, or what's written on a gauge.